always happy. Look at the bright side. No negativity is what he says, people. Let's be positive. Come on. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. No negativity. Let's be positive. LBP. Let's be positive. Always the best way to look at the sporting weekend results from Resurrection Distillery. That's Resurrection where a man crawled himself out of a cave after being crucified, threw the rock aside, raised his arms to heaven and said, I'm going to Twizel to Bruce Spirits. Welcome back, Matt. Hey, Martin. How are you going? Recovering from the man flu. I had it all last week. Oh, I've been mate. Could hardly even move. No. Way worse than COVID. In fact, I tested myself on Friday. I tested myself on Friday because I had to go to Tiru. I was hoping I had COVID, so I had to lock myself away. Turns out it wasn't. It was worse. It was the man flu, oh. and I had to make the trip. Well, but the thing is, is that, you know, COVID, they say, is a killer. A man flu mm. puts a man down. Doesn't kill him, puts him down. No. It just backs up all the work that you need to do. None of it goes away. No. There is no pause. No. You've got to get out of bed as soon as you can mm-hmm. and get straight back into that list that's been given to you by you-know-who. I know you. And yeah, that's what I've been know trying who. to do that's today. Yeah. Oh, I've been run ragged today, just trying to catch up on a couple of bedridden days, which a man needed. Well, the thing is also is that when a man has man flu, and this is what the beautiful species don't understand, is that... The day that we actually say, I'm okay and ready to tackle that list again, we're not actually okay. We're about three quarters okay. But we soldier yeah. on, don't we? We don't actually make a big oh, deal, look, mate. I'm... We don't. We just go, all right, honey, I'll get up and I'll, I'll help. 50%. I'm on 50%, but I'm still getting 95% of it done. There you go. So the man flu, it just, it just makes the list more daunting. But it doesn't stop one from being determined to get it done no. at some point before the new year. Massive weekend on the Australian sporting front. cock a doodle We had Peter Fitzsimons on the show early. Uh, uh, you beat Wales. You beat Wales in rugby in Wales. And I know Georgia have done it and Italy have done it, but hey, you hadn't done it and you just did it. Congratulations. We just did it. I mean, what a magnificent feeling. After the year that we've had, after the tour that we've had, who thunk it? I didn't think it, <laughs> and yet we've done it. And it's inspired the rest of the country. Yes. And that's helped me get over the man flu. Of course I've got to tell you. I know. Can Dave Rennie... I didn't think we'd win. Can Dave Rennie... I mean, look, you know, he's... I mean, you think Foz this year has gone through a few, don't you? But, I mean, Dave Rennie, honestly, mate, he's packed. His, his bags are packed. She's, she's slammed the door. She's thrown the garage remote after him. Yet somehow he's left the keys inside. He's got a knock on their door. He opens the door and he gets back inside the house again. How many times has he done that this year? Oh, it seems like every alternate week. Every alternate week he's had to make that walk of shame back in. <laughs> but then there's a high point, then there's another low point. Yeah, then yeah. there's a high point, uh, and then there's another low point, and we finish on a high yeah. point. So does that, mean there's a, does that mean he stays for the World Cup and you're happy with that? Look, the reality is, mate, is that there's... I know that there should have and could have and maybes and ifs and onlys and so forth, but... The, the reality is that's what they are. There's four or five results here that if they'd gone your way, you'd be sitting here going, you're a contender, not a pretender. Yeah, look, I, I hate to think that we could be contenders. Uh, just so inconsistent, you know. But as described on your program earlier, that was the victory with the C-grade song. There you go. So what are we capable of? This is what confuses me every week. I'm up, I'm down, I'm left, I'm right. We look like we're going to, we don't. Then we come back and we do. Oh, I don't know. We've got a World Cup. Well, no, I mean, I would, Cup. I'd put it in these terms. I mean, because this is probably how, you, you, Tracy, your beautiful wife puts it. You're kind of sick. You're not really sick. You think you're sick. You're pretending to be sick. You, you know, you might be sick. You're probably not sick. I mean, I, that's the only way I could probably... I, yeah, I, no. yeah, yeah. Because in terms... No, no, you're in, right. In, you, in know, view, you know what made it even worse? What? What made it even worse is while I was sick, while I was sick, she had to come up with an ear infection and go to the doctor for herself. <laughs> rather than just let me... Rather than let me have a couple of days where, you know, the focus is on poor old me... Yeah. Uh, she's got to go and get an ear infection and, um, you know, trump me. 
Well, that's because like, anyone thinks, I mean, whatever a, a, a minor thing, that's it. Well, of Manfred. course it is, mate. Whatever minor thing that you had bedridden for two days and moaning about it, I mean, and, and, and that, that would be, I think, a continuance, wouldn't it? I got work, I got that, I do think, I can't do this, I can't. I've got an right. ear infection and I've got to take myself to the doctor, Matt, okay? Yeah, but the, the reality is, is from the toes to the top of my head, pain in every part of the body, unable to move, and there's nothing you can there's nothing you can do for it. Take a little bit of Texivex, you know, the chesty cough syrup, and she goes in with an ear infection. It's just simple seven days of uh, antibiotics. Yeah, I don't I don't I, I don't even know how it compares. But anyway, uh, it I'd rather apparently. get a bowler than the man flu. Actually, because at least you know that at least you know that you know you're going to die as opposed to writhe around in pain for seven days. Oh, I couldn't take. I don't think I could take another Vicks vape drop uh, if it was going to save my life. <laughs> you know, that throat. Yeah. Just trying to get rid of the pain in the throat. Right. But, 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 no, no, look, I'm... I'm, I'm you I'm sold it on well, thank you, mate. Because the other thing I wanted to talk to you on. about is that you beat Tunisia 1-0 at the Football World Cup. And after scoring that goal against France and then getting pants, OK, I thought Australia were probably on the way out. At the moment, though... All you've got to do is draw with Denmark and you're through to the next round. That's, mate, to make the second round, to make the knockout stage is winning a World Cup for any team like yours and ours. Well, uh, we've seen Denmark a little shaky, mm. correct? Yeah. So so a draw is not beyond. I mean, uh, look, to be honest, I was a little surprised we made it through against Tunisia. More shots on goal they had. They had more on the ball. They had more shots in general. They probably should have put a couple away. Mm. But we held on. Yeah. We held on. We held on. We held on. We weren't even in the brilliant Australian gold colour, were we? They made us wear dark blue. Yeah, okay. And put a little yeah. bit of green on it there. Yeah. So the Tunisian goalkeeper could be in Australian gold. I think that's where they went wrong. I think that's probably where we were helped over the line. I tell you what, 1.7 million Aussies watched that game live. Amazing. And I dare say this week's game, what, December 1st? Where are we up to? 28th today. A couple of days away. Yeah, Thursday, It'll mate. be about 2 a.m. Australian time. Two and a half, three, four million people will be watching that one. Nobody jumps on a football team like the Aussies when the Socceroos are at the World Cup. It'll be one of the biggest events of the year in Australia. And when they win and the team is saying, don't sleep through it because you'll wake up to good news yeah. and you won't be able to share it and That's be a it. part of it, That's it. they're confident. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm look. I'm 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 totally soccer rude. You know that if New Zealand can't be there, even though Costa Rica have taken our place, I'm I'm absolutely soccer rude for the tournament. Matt Gunn out of Twizel. Let's be positive with Resurrection Distillery, and that's the Facebook people. You got to jump Resurrection Distillery. A couple of quick things before we go. I thought I was cricketed out, mate, and then and the rain and the fact that we'd had the T20 World Cup, and then on Friday night. I sat down, I watched a bit of a one day and I kept watching it and I thought, my God, one day cricket can be good. It's just that you get so much of it. If they can somehow work out to make it meaningful, and I don't know whether that was meaningful, but it was just a great game of sport. Well, I guess one of the great sides in the world and it is a great game, Martin. To me, it's more than 2020. I still love one day cricket. I suppose the thing is, is that, the audience these days, the younger audience, the dick pet generation, you call it, mm. the wokesters, mm -hmm. they've got too much environmental campaigning to do to be at the cricket for a test match, and they've still got too much campaigning to do to be there all day for a one day. But to me, it's the perfect length of cricket, and you can get highs and lows. You start poorly in 2020, game's all over. One day cricket's where it's at. Problem is, and we know it down here in this part of the world, the capital of the South Island, that the most settled weather is late January, February, early March. Yeah. It's not this time of year. Well, so problem. it's a lottery, isn't it? You yeah. bring a great side here. You want packed stadiums. You want a full series. And you get rain. And I don't know the answer because... Everything has cross coded each other. Close the roof. Close the roof. To be mate. more and more oh, professional. Right. No, make more and more money. Try and bring their game to the fore. We've just we're stepping over boundaries of sports. So trying to find the right place to put on a series like this, rather than have it in February, 
is you've got to put it in where there's a gap. I think that's... I think that sport has done this to itself in a yeah, way. Yeah, it has. You're exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're reminded, but then you think, well, uh, is it the right time of year? Well, the, you've got to we be see, enjoying this, this post Christmas. You're exactly right because what you know, the, we, we get we get confused. We're still talking about rugby. We play rugby now from January till December, effectively. We play cricket all year round. It used to be a summer sport, and when you play it in spring, and especially in this part of the world up here in Auckland, I mean, it, Matt, I'm not joking. It rains every day, mate. It rains for a portion of every single day. It doesn't matter whether the forecast says it's going to. We're on an isthmus, and that's just what it does. Napier's the same. Hamilton's the same. They're going down to Nelson. Apparently, we can't lose the series. Do you care? I don't give a stuff whether we lose the series. It'd just be quite nice to actually see a full game, wouldn't it? A proper full game, uninterrupted. Not a game where you kind of have to make other plans yeah. because you think it might be rained out. Mm-hmm. You just want to sit down, prepare yourself, let the build-up do its thing, Enjoy the whole game. Yeah, uh, it's a difficult situation for everyone all round. We've got football World Cups on. Uh, did I hear this morning some sort of softball World Cup? Yeah, the softball World I mean, Champs. Why yeah. isn't on? Yeah, look, I went to see the baseball the on Saturday, going mate. Unbelievable. Yeah, breakers are playing We've their nuts off. Yeah, things going um. on, and rugby's just finished. Yeah, and so where is there is there is no season anymore. It's not, you know, it's just it's just all on. Hang on a second before yeah, you finish, though, so, mate. You've you got to tell us so. Picking and choosing. Your highlight of the weekend was going to Timaru. That kind of slipped me by, and Lachlan just whispered it in my ear. He said, just explain that. <laughs> sorry, you're, sorry, that's the highlight of, of leaving Twizel is going to Timaru? No, I think what I said is I'd tested myself for COVID, hoping I'd be positive so I didn't have to go to Timaru. <laughs> Someone misheard that. <laughs> and you know what happened when I went up there? Wife well, played golf. I had oh. to drop her off at golf, Yep. all right? And I had to take my 14-year-old girl shopping. Cotton on. Uh, that was one place we went to. Uh, I don't even remember the names of the other ones. Glassons, what? that was the other one. Although I did enjoy Glassons, Martin. There were a couple of uh, couple of workers in there helping us try and choose some outfits. Oh, lovely. That's always lovely. That raised my spirits yeah. for 10 yeah. minutes. And yeah. then I realised I'm 50. Mm-hmm. And uh, and the, uh, the, the, the the workers in the timber shops are about 18. Okay, well, that's just, and, uh, yeah, okay, well, that's just, <laughs> that's just inappropriate on every level then in that well, case, isn't it? Man, eh? hitting me again. Well, and then you just you spat know? or coughed all over them. I mean, all right. <laughs> man, it's always a pleasure, mate. Being positive out of Twizel is our man, Matt Gundy. He joins us every Monday doing that LBP.